Hey guys, it's Buddy Seven Two here, and welcome back to another episode on SkyK. Today it's episode eight, and it has been quite some time since my last episode. About two weeks, I think it is, since I last uploaded. Been very busy in real life, and during that time, I've also been starting and preparing to open up the new shop. So as you can see here, we've got this bit all boarded off, and well, this is time to let's go into the end of chest there. And as you can see, I've got a couple shulker boxes here, a couple shulker, shulker looting. This is now going, and we're now boarding up this area here. This store grind is now, well, grind has moved, I should say. Grind has now moved. So we need to pop over to the lovely area of where I've started building. So out here, not much has changed really. In today's episode, we're going to be opening up this store down here. And I want to do a little bit of a tidy up. So I can't remember if I showed you guys here. We have a little down area that takes us down. And that's going to pop us down into this area here. I might show you guys what's down here later on. But this is our little storage area for our lovely potatoes and carrots. And just some random bits here. And now we pop in through this door here, if it wants to let me get through. And this is my lovely store through here. I've added a couple map arts, which is pretty good. All the stores are sort of stocked, like some of these are more stocked than others. It takes quite a bit of effort. We've got mending, we've got XP, we have got some other blocks. And I do eventually want to expand upwards, but it's just going to take a while. And let's go grind, grind opened. Or what was it? Founded. I don't know what to say. New store opened on opened on the 9th. 9th of what are we? July 2019. So new store opened on July 2019, and this is what the store is. Pretty simple pretty basic and if you want to get out of here because as you guys know i use pwop grind for my home it's a bit tricky to get out through this door so if we go into the end chest we have got an access badge which we have to just drop it down through here and it opens up the door so that is nice and lovely see how it's quickly open up this door here and go make sure we're stepping on this here and go pwop move grind there we go. And so now we go P warp grind. Whoops. We are now here. So now it is time to let everyone know on the server that P warp grind is now open for business. So let's just quickly type a quick message into the chat. There we go. That message has been sent in chat and I don't think many people are gonna come because a lot of people right now are AFK. So once the word gets out about this place being open, it should be pretty good. So let's just open up our access badge and let's go start work on our next task. Which of course, I'm going to first go P warp help. And I believe you can set P warp alert to let you know if someone comes into your P warp. I'm not sure how that works. I just noticed that when I was changing instructions that before. So what we need to do is we need to tidy up this area here because it is a huge mess. It's pretty hideous, pretty ugly. And we've got our lovely villagers working away around here. And it's just, I don't need any more stuff. And then you have patches like this here where you just have to randomly jump up over pieces. There's bits all going around. We've got farm limiters going, which is not my place, but we're going to continue jumping up here. It takes such a long time, and you can see all the junk and crap I have around. Hello, villagers. All of these guys should be name tagged. As you can see, I did plan on doing another area up here, but I'm going to be getting rid of this now because I think we're tall enough. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to strip this area down, and then I'm going to probably strip this area down here as well and give it a nice tidy up, as you can see. And some bits are not loading in there. I'm going to go ahead and do this top of here. I'll be back with you guys very soon. There we go, people. The first person to visit the new location is Heaps, a diamond member, which is pretty good. 
I see that it heaps his visitor to P warp, which is actually pretty cool. So I think I might keep the P warp list on or alerts on because it seems quite nice. Okay, I'm going to go back to cleaning this again. There we go. Over on the top is nice and clean. So I think this is how I'm just going to be keeping it for now. But I've also got something else I want to show you guys that I did what I found when I did the end rating. So as you can see here, I've just gone and bought myself some fireworks. Oh, flight duration three. Oh, didn't realize they're that good. And now I've got my end rating kit. So if we pop into here, no. Uh, maybe it's in keys slash rear. Just look in there. And we have got ourselves an Elytra here, people. So let's just pop that back in there. And I should be able to pop that there on. So there we go. That's our first Elytra. And I want to do the first flight of the... Can I take off here? Because I... I know I can even on my fly on servers. I'm flying. No, I'm falling. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that took quite a bit of effort. Oh, it's not loading in there. Whoa. Oh, I don't know why it gives me some... Oh, this place looks so nice from the air. Look at it. Oh. This, I think this looks so beautiful. Like, look at the place. Look at these lovely towers. Oops, we're going to get some lag. I always can never fly on servers. But look at that there. I think this place looks magnificent. If we fly up here, oops, got a block left there. Oops, <laughs> got a block left there. Oh, these, it's got some long flies on them. So we have got ourselves, oh, there's, there's ice over here. Did not know that I actually haven't ventured past this point, really. So we're going to get rid of all of this here, and that should tidy it up, because this, this looks magnificent flying around. Let's try not to see if we can die. Whoa, there we go. Okay, I don't want to waste these, because these are quite expensive. So, whoop, hang on. Can I land with these? I'm going to go fly around, and I'm going to... Ow. What? No, I don't want that to happen. What's happening here? No. Uh, let's just see if I'm going to glitch up or something. Flying, you can never rely on on service. So, whoops, you can see that there. Yeah, you can see like, I'm still like activated. What, what's happening here? Okay, this is weird. I wonder if I can take... Uh, um, uh, hello? What? <laughs> what's happening here? Look at that. I wonder if I can do rocket still. No, it doesn't look like I can. It just looks like I'm miss. I'm in flight mode still. This is. Um. This is. What's. What's happening here? I'm. I'm. I'm a little bit stuck. This is. This is very weird. So. It looks like I'm still in flight mode by the looks of everything. This is. What does this look like if someone was watching us just bouncing up the hill, really? What happens if I take this light drop? off? There we go, that's better. I think I might just keep that in there. It doesn't really work out that well. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear that tower off and make this place look nice and beautiful. Shouldn't take too long. And I'll catch you guys again in a bit. Here we go, everyone. This is what this place that looks like after using 20 rockets to try and get off the ground. I finally can fly, so that's with that lovely lag there. But this place is looking pretty good now. I'm going to need to work on this place here because it's hideous and I need to get tear it down. But that there looks like, like a lovely tower there. So as you can see with my style of the base, is pretty much all towers. So I'm going to be leaving that little bit there in case I need to move some more villages around. Oh, oh, what, what, what's happening here? I was just looking at it a little bit quick there because... um. What? I'm over the ocean now? Okay. I really don't want to... I really don't want to see what's below the ground there, because I've got some stuff hidden below there, which I don't want people to really see. I suppose I could just clip that out. But anyway, I think I might insert a little clip while I run over to the store here of me getting the lovely Elytra, but it's got no sound or anything to it, so if I can find the file, I'll chuck that up now.
as you guys know, I've got bits and pieces written around, like owner when the shop was founded, donations from the Elf, to which I, I have not seen you online for quite a while. If you do come online, I've got a little book for you so you can get out and visit your little holiday house, which I'll give you if for some strange reason you're watching this video. So I'm going to go ahead and with this book and quill, I'm going to write down all these P warps here because I want to keep track of them because I, f I forget what warps are around. That's why I've got my piece of paper sitting right next to me. As you can hear me tapping the paper now of all the warps. So I go because I forget which where to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean out all the stock here. And I'm pretty much just going to, I suppose I'm going to scrape all these out and just flatten off the inside in here. Because I want to pull myself a super smelter. Because that would be very helpful. I'm hoping it's going to fit in here. Because one day in the future I will probably much tear this all down because it's it's pretty trash really so i'm gonna go ahead and give this place a nice tidy up like i have done out in here as you can see everything's nice and stacked up through here oops i don't want to do that as you can see i've got my items all organized through here and then once i've done that there i want to show you guys another part of the base which i have been working on so i'm gonna go ahead and do that there and i'll see you guys in a split second here we go, everyone. This is what the store looks like. Nice and empty now. Just removed all the dirt and that. So this is what we're going to be putting in a super smelter in here eventually. And I've just walled off this little area through here. And no one can go in there because things stored in there. So anyway, this is what the place is looking like. Just it's so hideous from the outside. I'll have to do something about that. But anyway, what I decided we're going to be working on now is I've been working on it over time. But this is underneath the ground, so you come down here to my shop, but then we drop down, I think it's this chute here. It's this lovely dark room here. What's this light spot over here for? Let's just cover that there up. So as you can see, why is there patches of a bit odd? Anyway, this is where we will be building with these inside chunks, I'll show you that there. So it, I found out it is limited to 24 mobs per 24 mobs per junk chunk, I should say. And this is where we're going to be starting to work on our lovely sheep farm. So we're going to be putting sheep in here, and this is where we're going to be starting our new project to start selling on the on the server is going to be wool. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm really going to design this. I was just thinking just to do a whole lot of Fence is pretty much just going around this entire perimeter. I'm just going to use up an entire stack. If it is, I'm not going to have enough wood. Okay, not too bad. And then we're going to have ourselves, let's go into the end chest and grab ourselves a lovely. I'm not even sure if there's actually center anyway. 245. 245. Okay, so the gate's going to be off center, which is a little bit. It's quite irritating, really. But the middle is going to be a bit off center as well. It's going to be two. This is where we're going to be having our mobs going around here, or I should just say, so our sheep. This is going to be going around. Have torches. And we're going to have like a little design coming down the middle here, or just down the middle here. Here we go, run. This is what it is looking like. A little simple little pattern here. And as you guys know, I'm not the best builder, but this is what it's going to look like. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm pretty much going to finish off this entire thing. And then I'll see you guys above ground because this farm isn't really going to work for any sheep. So I'm hoping I'm about to find some. And once we get these sheep, we can put two in here, start breeding. Two in here, start breeding. Well, I might leave this one empty for now and just breed a whole lot of sheep. Put two in each, start breeding them up, dye them all. And then hopefully we can start getting plenty of dyed wool, 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 that's what I'm meant to be saying, if that even come out, and then underneath all the little gates here, I'll be putting a little chest, so that when we walk through, we can just dump all the wool there, then when we build up enough supply, we can start working on a giant shop, or adding on to the shop, so I have a big, a huge lot of chests stored somewhere, once we get a double chest full of stuff, then we can finally open up a store. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off, guys, and I'll see you guys <laughs> well, very soon. Okay, everyone, I've just located a sheep, which is just a very lovely little white sheep, not that far away from the base. So I thought we're going to try and drag them over. We've got a grey sheep over there, but I think I spotted another white one over here. Come on. Come on, little sheepy. 
Jeez, you can notice my little lag. And can we do two? Yes, we can drag two. Okay, so I'm going to drag these over to the lovely base now. And I might try and see. I see you guys want to get back over there. I might try and record myself walking this ship over there. Let's see. This might be a bit of a hassle. Come on. Move out from behind there. Come on. Good sheep. Good sheep. Would it help you guys if I do this? There we go, good sheepies. Let's drag you all the way back to the base. Here we go, everyone. We've got our first two sheep in here, plus a little baby lamb, which we've just bred. So I'm going to go ahead in between now and next episode, and I'm going to breed two in here. And as soon as I get another one, I'm going to move that one over to here, get another two, move two into here, move two into here, move two into here. And I'm going to keep track of how many I have, so I'm going to breed them up to 24 each. So when I do that, I'm going to dye them and all that, of course. So I'm going to have 24 white, 24 black, and I'm going to have 24 blue, 24 green, 24 purple, and 24 orange, I think I'll choose to have as my next one. So that's what I'm going to be doing now, and that is all I've really got time for today. And next episode, we should come in and see this area completely full of sheep and all that there. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and sorry it's been about three weeks since my last episode. This one's going to be released a little bit later, as you can see. But I'll see you guys next time, and probably, most likely, a Skyrim episode. Oops. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. But we should see, we will, well, we would find out very soon. Hopefully I don't move it like I have this episode. So I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching, and let's cue that lovely Skyrim outro. Let's, let's do this here. See you guys next time, and goodbye. Make sure to check out P-Walk Grind. <laughs>